Joining us now is the man himself, L.A. Rams running back Todd Gurley. You did not just make the list. Your peers voted you the number two running back heading in mm. to next season. Congratulations on a great season. What does that mean to you? Um, thank you. I appreciate it. It means a lot. You know, it's definitely from the players to be able to vote me and to be the number two running back, you know, coming off of my rookie season. So, you know, I just got to give a blessing to God and my teammates for helping me get, you know, to the point that I'm at. Well, listen, hey, this is Nate Burleson here. Hey, I want to say congrats. But, listen, you're not just a number two running back. You're the <laughs> second highest rated rookie ever. Wow. So how does that make you feel? Oh, it caught me off guard. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a blessing, man. You know, I couldn't ask for ask for more. You know, just got to gotta keep working and, you know, hopefully get higher on the list next year. But, you know, I appreciate everybody for voting me at um, 22. You were talking about you got to keep working. Uh, you got a rookie quarterback that we all believe is going to be starting. How much uh, How much of this offense do you expect to be on your shoulders next season, man? Um, you know, obviously, you know, I feel like I have to step my game up a little bit more, you know, coming into year two and, you know, not being able to play the first couple of games last year. And it's going to be a, a, a new game, new system t for golf. And I think he's going to do great. So, you know, just going to, you know, do my game and, you know, he's going to ball out as well. So, you know, I'm excited to be, be with him in um, L.A. Todd, you were the last rookie on the list. We do know there's one more running back on the list, and we all have to assume that's <laughs> Adrian Peterson. Yeah. We compared his rookie season to your rookie season. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. You played one less game than he did, but the numbers are similar in every category. Carries, rush yards, touchdowns, 100-yard gains. And on top of that, AD himself, he had some praise for you. Check it out. Todd Gurley, he's a back that, you know, I see a lot of myself in when I first came in. Strong, physical, north and south type player. He was a young guy that really caught my attention. Three-time NFL rushing leader sees himself, a young himself, in you. Uh. What does it mean to hear those words? Um, it means a lot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you know, AP, he sets the golden standard, and, you know, to be a running back is the – everybody wants to be like AP. And, you know, to hear a guy, you know, say that, growing up watching him, looking up to him, um, say that, that means a lot. So, make me want to, you know, go get ready now. <laughs> now, 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 Todd, now that you're in L.A., can you tell us what has been your welcome to L.A. moment? <laughs> All right. So, my welcome to L.A. moment is probably about – Two weeks ago, I was doing this NFL ambassador shoot, um, and I'm in like the middle of Hollywood Boulevard in front of the Chinese Theater on the stars, and we're doing like a photo shoot. <laughs> and it's just people, <laughs> it's just people stopping, <laughs> taking pictures, video, like video recording. And they, I'm up here acting like I'm an actor or something. <laughs> <laughs> people was like, who, I, I bet people was like, who is this guy? So that was pretty, it was kind of like caught me off guard, but that was definitely my welcome to LA moment. How are you and the guys adjusting to the move and being in L.A.? Oh, um, everybody's been loving it. You know, the weather's been good. Everything's been great. You know, we've been enjoying it. You know, we have to move around from a couple spots. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're um, all together and we, we're having a good time. I'm not going to say that you can predict the future, but before you were drafted, a fan asked you what city you would most like <laughs> to play in. And you actually said L.A., but there's no team there yeah. right now. How did, how did you know that? Did you have a feeling one day you'd end up in L.A.? <laughs> um, I just knew, you know, I had came to L.A. a couple of times and visited prior, prior. And I was like, man, this is a cool city. You know, this is a city I can see myself living in, you know, maybe after like my third or fourth year in the league. And, you know, luckily... You know, was at St. Louis for a year, and, you know, the team moved to L.A., and I'm like, oh, I'm already in the city I want to be in, so I can't be even happier. All right, well, before we let you go, uh, a certain someone stopped by with a spe special message in the studio for you. Check this out. Todd, I was in the neighborhood, and somebody whispered in my ear that you were 22 out of 100 this year. Not bad for a rookie, but, hey, that's 215. Let's move on to 216 and see if we can do a little bit better. But, hey, congrats, my man. Less need stopping yeah. in and having that to say. Uh, what is it like working for a guy like that, that that drafted you, gives you a chance, and, and now is expecting a lot from you here in L.A.? I um, definitely love working for um, Coach Fisher and um, Mr. Sneed. They're just great guys, you know, players, coaches, and um, people. 
and they look after us. And, you know, it just means a lot for that, for a guy like him to draft me off an of ACL injury, to believe in me, you know, have a plan. And, you know, everything kind of worked out. So, you know, I just got to keep working hard and, you know, live up to it. All right, we can't wait to see what happens with you uh, this coming year. And we know that you have your Georgia Bulldogs shirt on there. Yeah, got to represent, got to represent. Your alma mater, your alma mater actually <laughs> tweeted at you. Um, they're very proud of you. Check this out. They say hashtag dogs in the NFL at TG3. <laughs> One of three Bulldogs revealed tonight. So going strong with Geno Atkins and Justin Houston as well okay, on the list okay. tonight. Thanks a lot, Todd. We look forward to seeing you. And welcome to L.A. If you need reservations, Eric Davis has a hookup. <laughs> he does. That All I right, do. Thank you. That I do. And a nice wine pairing. Todd's <laughs> family.